welcome to viewers today we are going to see a new topic that is how to design a calendar control in labview so to design a calendar control we have to use a dot net container so dot net container means we can find that container from container section and dot net container so this is your dot net container so we are going to use the default calendar uh, format of the windows operating system so with that's why we are using dot net container so inside this dot net container we are going to add default calendar which is present in the windows operating system so we don't need to create any separate uh, calendar which we just have to use the calendar present inside the windows operating system so for that we just have to click auto sizing and insert dot net control so you can insert dot net control from the windows section so you can see we can get the a calendar from the system dot window dot forms this is the default so you have to select this by default this is selected for me because i have used several times but if that is not selected for you you have to select you have to search so many assembly will be there you have to search system dot window dot forms so inside this we can see so many controls are there we need which control we need month calendar control so you can go to m so a month calendar control so this is your calendar default calendar of a windows operating system we are going to use this so to use this what we have to do uh, we have to use the uh, property node of this calendar so for that we just have to create a property node which is to get the exact date this is your container so to get the exact date what we have to do we just have to you have to create a property of this calendar which will give me the date so what is that property that property is called select start so we can go to create property of uh, system dot window dot form dot month calendar class and we have to go to system uh, sorry select start so where is select start so this is sorry selection start so this property this property output will give you the time stamp means the date and time both we need the date so to get the date you just have to go to get date time string so from this uh, time string the output will be your date so you can place that date uh, in uh, a string we can convert this to indicator and we can choose this and this is your date and we can connect to this so when we run this as you can see you can select this so that means this is our date we can select this this is the date we can select our different year like 2010 so this this you can see this is exactly like a windows operating system calendar so that's why you are using this one this is your windows uh, operating system month uh, calendar so we are using that default calendar so for that if you are we want to use any system any property of a windows operating system we have to go through dot net control or active control so now this calendar we have to access through dot net control so you can see but here there is one uh, uh, lag is there that is let me see this uh, size of the uh, calendar is not the exact what is the exact size is as you can see you will drag it you can see the size so this is the exact size, original size of the calendar full size of the calendar so when you are running it that size is shrink to its default size so we have to enlarge that to enlarge that what we have to do we just have to create a property node for the container uh, boundary so that means we just have to uh, choose what will be the boundary of this uh, container so before that you can see uh, oh, sorry. we can give it to this and the container boundary that is what is the default size that uh, I have tested mm, it was like uh, 230 will be the width and uh, height will be 165 so that it will say that i have uh, trial so many times i got 230 165 is the size of this uh, 
calendar so if we are making dot net con container size to that size then we can see the entire calendar size so as you can see when i'm pressing the run button as you can see the entire size we are looking like uh, march 14 22 the date we are getting from that so this is the entire size so we can stop it and so this is like this will be the calendar and from the calendar we are getting the date and uh, in professional way if you want to use already i have designed that like uh, here uh, calendar use as you can see here i if i will run it automatically the calendar will be uh, unvisible and if we will select on date then the calendar will come in picture and uh, we can select the date like this if we will click uh, somewhere else that will be gone similarly you can change the date so this is like professionally way we are using this .NET controller so I have already designed that so many functions I have used like date so many things I have used so as per your requirement you can use uh, this dotnet control so the basic thing is how to get that uh, uh, this calendar is you have to use dotnet control and some property that selection stat property of that calendar then you can get this date so thank you so much and uh, please subscribe my channel to get more updates like this thank you